I'm Manami. By now, there's nothing more for me to say. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. That's why I'm gonna fight too. I will fight the only way I can. I'm gonna show that guy my fearsome retaliation. That's basically it. So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Hmm, surely. I mean, Chucky did say that that is definitely suspicious. Even though you would assume that the spear was the cause of death after all. I mean, Monok the Monokuma file didn't specifically say the cause of death. We just thought that we figured that one out, but... Hmm, but yeah two things that I would like to say about this, ladies and gents. First would be that, yeah, I guess it wouldn't be that easy. Like I said before, I guess uh, figuring out uh, Komaeda's uh, suicide thing was the easy part, but here comes the fun part, slash the hardest part. And secondly, Usami did forget to say that we should make sure to save regularly. She did uh, forget to say that, apparently. Mm. Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? <sighs> I mean, really? I... I'm still... I'm still a little confused about this. I mean... Could it be really something completely different than what we thought of before? Could it be something else that killed Nagito? I mean... Based on how we analyzed it, it definitely seemed to like suicide. In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. Yes. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Okay. Other possibilities? Huh. I mean, like what? If something other than the spear killed Nagito, all I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but... That was definitely a gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Unless he bled to death, he bleed to death, maybe, before, <clears throat> before the spear fell. Cause, I don't know, you could die from... I mean, you could do just die from losing like too much blood, and then when he lost uh, consciousness and died, then the spear fell. Eh. Hmm. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds... Hmm. Are we finished already? I feel like it's possible that we overlooked something. Overlooked, huh? Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We should cooperate at a time like this. A fatal wound that wasn't a spear. We don't even know if it actually exists, but if it does, we need to find out what it is, no matter what. Alright, well, let's see, I, um, once again, ladies and gents, I am at a loss right now, so I'm gonna have to figure this out, like the rest of the students here, so, hmm. Uh. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? It's not the other wounds, right? With all those wounds... Maybe he simply bled to death. Mm. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? Something that if cannot be seen. That can't be seen. Maybe he choked himself with a sleeper. Mm, no. Guts with a body blow. <laughs> what? Just thinking about it, that's already a horrible death. Wh what did you say? They're uh, liquefied his guts? The real cause what? The real cause of Nagito's death is there something I overlooked? Well it cannot be that he burned to death. He had like no burn wounds. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? 
I mean, him bleeding to death is something that I thought of, but... Could he really be dead? I mean, if he bled to death, then it's... Basically, there's like no change there. It's still suicide. Something that cannot be seen. Maybe he choked himself with a sleeper hand. No. Or liquefied his guts with a body blow. To liquefied his guts? That's already a horrible death. That's surely a horrible wait. Wait a second. Did he cut? Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's the, the poison. It's not the other wounds, right? With all those wounds. Maybe he simply bled to death. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? Poison! Something that cannot be seen. From what I remember, it said that what is inside the bottle was liquid. But when you open it, it it vaporizes it. Or no, not vaporizes it, but um in it it will have like a gaseous state. It will turn into gas. Let us consider a Something that wound. cannot be seen. Could he beat this? Oh. Well, I agree with you once again, Miss Nevermind. Apparently, it was the poison. Could he be? I totally forgot about that possibility. If the cause of death was something we can't see, then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Oh my fucking god. So, apparently the poison is something related to this case. It might be something that Nagito already used. Well, actually, no, hold on a second. I completely forgot about this. I was thinking that Nagito was about to use this, but ugh, I'm such a stupid person. You remember that somebody said that the poison was already used. It was like half empty, I think. So, yeah. It is true that poison is not something you can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? Because we found poison in his cottage. I remember when I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. Well, in that case, how the fuck was the poison even used? I mean, the poison bottle was inside the refrigerator in Nagato's cottage. If the poison was the cause of death, then he would have had to use it in the warehouse, but... No. How is that even possible? If poison was the cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. Which is something that we cannot even see. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What does that mean? But, even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Well, of course you would notice, if you checked his body thoroughly. Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? Nah, that's just stupid. We would notice uh, the blood patches too. That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were full. So how would he drink poison? Yeah, that is true. Plus the poison the poison bottle was inside uh, the refrigerator in his cottage. His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. Oh my fucking god, how Ooh, that is just a, that is such a disgusting possibility. That's Akane. Don't just, just don't, don't, don't you, don't you dare say that possibility. If it was a slow acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. Uh, thank you, Sonia, for 
<laughs> for saying that. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Yeah, that is true. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. And this is when the hard tail appears. God damn it! You're totally overvaluing that tail. Yeah, like uh, you're making it look like uh, his tail is like sent by the gods or something like that. Jesus Christ, Akane. His mouth was covered with duct tape, you know. If he wanted to drink poison, how'd he get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there any left? Hell no. No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear. And even so, if there is a still a possibility that the poison is the thing that killed Nagito, he still used it himself. It is still suicide, so yeah. Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method. The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe. The way the poison entered Nagito's body, the answer is written on the warning label. I should think carefully and try to remember it. Okay, what do we have over here? Um, logic dive, okay. <laughs> Not Hangman's Gambit, Jesus. Uh, from now on I feel a little scared about the Hangman's Gambit, because the last Hangman's Gambit was... Oof, uh, it, was definitely, it was definitely something. It was totally something. But this one should be okay, I guess. I'm probably jinxing it, but so far... Hmm, okay. So yeah, we know that the ga like the poison enters like a gaseous state once uh, it once we open the bottle. What state was the poison in in when it affected Nagito? Nah, I would feel like it was the gas. I mean, thinking about this possibility, uh, Nagito had uh, the duct tape on his mouth, so there's no way that he drank the poison at that point in the warehouse. If he had the poison, so the only way he could enter Nagato's body or something like that, it would be through his nose. But then again, how in the world is that even possible? Like, where did that poison come from? Yeah, it's a complete mystery. <laughs> uh, oh god, what? Okay, I was anticipating to... I was anticipating like a jump over there. Oops. Oh man, okay. I guess this is the moment where I'm gonna have to go slowly and also gonna die over here. Yee, there you go. Yee, there you go. The fastest Silver Surfer Hajime in the world. In the galaxy, even. Yee, there you go. Ugh, just gonna take it. Ugh, just gonna. Um, just gonna let myself slide over there. Easy slide. How did the poison enter Nagato's body? Uh, yeah, probably could be through his nose or through his wounds. Is that even possible? To enter through his wounds? Hmm. Uh, I'm thinking it could be from through the nose. Yep. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna go through over here, going in uh, like a loop de loop over here or something like that. Circular motion. Ugh. Uh, okay, that was it. <laughs> okay, two questions only. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Blah. Break. What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Okay, dangerous you can also call it. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Okay, you can also call it vaporized. Uh. Poison gas. Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose. He breathed that poisonous gas inside the warehouse. But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? Probably because of. Uh... <laughs> the Monokuma merch. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. It is the Monokuma merch that saved the day! Oh my god. Can you really believe it? I I, I was actually... Wait, didn't I think about this before? 
Could he be the... The he... Uh, he put the poison? Oh my fucking god. Could it be that Nagito used the, the gas mask inside the warehouse and put the poison before? Well, wait, hold on. That would mean that he would have the gas mask with him in the warehouse, but it was inside his cottage, so... Either way, it could be that Nagito put the poison inside the warehouse, made it into a ga gaseous state or something like that. It vaporized, and then when we enter, it would get killed. Except for the fact that the fire started. What? I'm confused. The poisonous gas disappeared because the Monokuma merch. Um, no. That doesn't even make any sense. S sorry. Hi, <laughs> Jime. Okay. Don't be. Don't be a disappointment. Either the splinkers or the fire? Probably the fire. No? No, there's nothing written on the wording label that suggests that fire would be, would have neutralized the poison. Crap. Um, was it the water? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna get like a game over over here. The smoke? Ah, damn it. Um, no, there's nothing written on the wording label that suggests the smoke would have neutralized the poison. Crap. So it was the water, okay. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna die here in just a second. The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. In a gaseous state, it is heavier than air, it breaks down in minutes, and is susceptible to hydrolysis. Susceptible to hydrolysis means that the water can negate the effect. Okay, gotcha. Hydro. Hydro means water. Okay, gotcha. So it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Hydrolysis. The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers. Also, the poison is apparently denser than air, so it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. Um, I guess. But Nakito was laying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it, huh? If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Yeah, the true cause of Nagito's death was poisoning. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already. Mm, that is true. He used poison, so? It's still considered a suicide, but... Though, it makes me question, how the fuck was he able to use the poison? Like, where was the po- Wait a minute, so... Nagito was laying down. And waited there till... Uh, till we all gathered and the fire started. It could be that the fire... Like, when the fire started... Or... Wait, hold on a second. No, wait, hold on a second. Could it be that... It could be that Nagito died, like, way before the fire started. So, yeah, it could be that he breathed the poison before we entered the warehouse and the fire started. That, or it could be that somehow the poison started having effect on Nagito when we entered the warehouse and the fire started. In that case, I wouldn't even know how the fuck is that possible, but... Uh. Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Yeah, uh, that's like... Uh, he died by poison, like way before. To make us even more confused, because maybe... He would have thought that we would go to the conclusion that... It is because we started the fire 
that uh, he got impaled by the spear, like right at that point. So was it to confuse us even more? Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right, all the mysteries should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? No, no, no. We still have like fuck ton of other questions over here. Well, but what? There's still more. I mean. Not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nagito's motive is still unclear. Did he commit suicide just so he could kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Well, it could be one of the possibilities. I mean, I still don't know what the fuck went through Nagito's mind at this point. He really didn't give a shit about us. I don't know. <sighs> Even though he yearned for hope more than it anything else that hope would co overcome any despair ah uh, fucking night i swear to god what the fuck what are you thinking is that really okay hey what happened there's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore you know nagito's motive nagito's malice is this really okay can we really finish this here no that can't be there might have been an accomplice. Wait, wait, what? An accomplice? Huh? Ch Chiaki, what did you just say? Oh, well, that is uh, random. Where did that come from? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Yeah, that is true. I I don't know how he poisoned himself if there were like no signs of poison there. Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. That is true. Wait, so that's why you're thinking that there was an accomplice? But if so, then how? If Nagito already brought the poison to the warehouse, then the thing that would have been left behind is <laughs> the meat on the bone. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna get a game over here, but I cannot let this pass. One minute, just give me one minute, I'll eat the whole thing. Hey, that's already over and done with. <laughs> Don't go back to your original roots here, Akane. Don't. This isn't chapter one. And we're dead. It's no use. I can't go any longer. I don't have any other options. Everyone doubts me? <laughs> it appears the trial has come to an end! It's time to vote! <laughs> Ugh. This really doesn't make any sense. Wait, where is U? Did I see that right? Where is Usami? <laughs> By a majority vote, the one who was chosen as a blackened is... Hajime Hirata! Well, Hajime is not a blackened. Too bad! Alright, alright. This is my hour end? No, it is definitely not your <laughs> We will never give up! Oh, I'm gonna get such a bad grade for this, I'm telling you. We will never give up. What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Alright, going back to this. <laughs> the container. Well yeah, the container, yeah. Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah. If Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? Yeah, that is true. He can't carry around poison without putting it in a container? Unless he put it in a completely different container than what it was originally. That's why he probably used the gas mask inside his cottage to put in like a different container. And then just use that second container in the warehouse. Even though we still haven't found that container yet. I mean, what, do you expect me to believe that <laughs> it was put inside the Monokuma plushie too? Are they ready? Yeah, that was written on the warning label. Keep this liquid secret is secure by storing in a cool place, in a gla glass or plastic container, away from sunlight. The container probably melted in the fire. It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it completely incinerates. Even the 
plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Then, does that mean someone got rid of the container? Mm-hmm. So that's why you mentioned an accomplice. I guess so. <sighs> that is impossible. I mean, an accomplice? It is just too... Like, does that really matter all that much? I mean... Even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. Plus... What? For Nagito ha to have an accomplice in this whole thing is just ugh, weird. Could it be that the Nagito and the traitor actually worked together all this time? Nah, that's just impossible. <laughs> uh, and everybody else had really, like, everybody else really hated Nagito, so. And they would have all died. What? You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Accidentally took it away? Ah, you're right. You're totally right. That's totally it. What do you mean, Akane? Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. Oh my god, we are gonna have some unexpected twists, aren't we? <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone's tired. Tired of doubting everyone else. I also feel that way. Yeah, I mean... Uh, mm, Closing it up with uh, having Nagito commit suicide and that's it, it would be just uh, the, e the easiest thing. But thinking that somebody killed Nagito and we don't know, we are going back to the same old, same old shtick where we're gonna have to find out who the killer is, which... <sighs> We always have to doubt everyone. Because if there is doubt, then we cannot really believe in them. We want to believe them, but we cannot if there is doubt. That's why I want to just rule this as Nagito's suicide. If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt. But... That's no good. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hopes. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? Uh Nagito and Hajime fan fiction, I guess. <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Yep, truly fits a yaoi theme of a teen manga. So, are we, are we really going through with this? Are we gonna go the route of there being a, of there actually being a killer for this? Huh. Fucking Nagito, I swear to God. What did he do? Still, that's pretty messed up. Shut up. You just be quiet. I, I get what you're saying, but... In the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Uh, even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? I mean, yeah, we should. We should try and figure out every single mystery. Although, I, it does make me question if it's going to make any difference in terms of who we're going to vote or not. 
Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But how, though? But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. The worst thing that a human can do is turn his or her back on the absolute truth. Even if the solution might be easy, we are not... It might be that we are actually running away from the absolute truth here. That's why that we should probably talk about this a little more. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. <laughs> what is this fitting just now? Even though it was brief, it was like a strong flash of light running from the back of my head. Could it be that the poison was hidden inside the fire grenades? Maybe what Akane said just now might be a new clue. From there, I may be able to reach the answer. The way Nagato brought the poison, which means the thing he used as a container was... Uh, handman's game. Oh my fucking god. No! Uh, fire? Fire. Okay, it's fire. Uh, uh, uh. Oops! Uh, uh. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared a little bit over here. Uh. Okay, get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of, uh, shit out of here. Fire. E. Get that shit out of here. Uh. Need to take my shots! Need to be careful with my shots! By now, I should be an expert in um, in uh, shooting like chocolate. Fit egg grenade. Okay. Uh, oh God. Gr uh. Uh. Gr I need an N. Uh. Grenade. Grenade. I need an N. I need an N. I need N's. I need A's. Help me, gods of the alphabet. Give me an A. Give me a D. Well, I certainly wouldn't want a D, but I guess I don't have a choice. Ugh. I need a D. There you go. I need an E. Fire grenade. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. So the poison was inside the bottle? Was inside the fire grenade? I got it. Huh? The fire grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. He used one of the fire grenade canisters? Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. Oh... Uh, wait a second. So... It could be that it was inside a fire grenade. But as long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Well, that is true. The fire grenade canister is like the only thing that I can think of when it comes to putting the poison in a place, and you don't have to dispose of it. That bastard. He totally knew we were gonna throw those fire grenades. Which means, did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Mm, he probably did. Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. Aluminum? Wait a second, so that's why there was an aluminum piece of paper in his bed. 
Oh my fucking god, so that's where it was from. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? Th that is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on, <laughs> did you say aluminum? Did you say aluminum, Miss Nevermind? Hajime, could it be? If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible! Miss Sonia just said so right now! However, there is clear evidence of that, Mr. Kazuzu! Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? Sonia's words contain a clue that the contents of a fire grenade were swapped with the, with the poison. And that is... a piece of blue paper! I can prove it with this! Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. N no that is not just a piece of trash. It is clear evidence that reveals the absolute truth! Huh. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? Yep, truly. It's a dangerous poison, after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. So, what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? Hmm. That could be it. So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide. Enough already. Yeah, it could be that it was um that it was hidden among the grenade canisters that we we all thrown. Or No. No, you're not telling me that. You're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See, I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. No. You're not telling me that. Uh. Okay, um... Okay, uh, could... could mm. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. You... you're right. I mean, nobody else... nobody could be an accomplice. Who would work with Nagito in the first place, right? <laughs> in actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. <laughs> Don't tell me you're <laughs> You're not telling me this What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still wanna keep going? Is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. Uh... No, it's not. J Jockey? I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines... That's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? It probably happened at the same time. The moment the fire grenades were brought, and the moment Nagato breathing the poison were the same? Could that same moment be... Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! I see! Are you saying... It was when we all threw the fire grenades? Oh my fucking god! 
So you're telling me that... That somebody killed Nagito by throwing the poison? The grenade canister with the poison? Yeah, I think so. When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. Because we threw it at the black curtain behind. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was one of us. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be freaking shitting me! He One of us kill him without us realizing it. Was that his plan all along? What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito. H hold on a sec. The Nagito was the good man. He didn't kill himself. Uh... What the heck? You're telling me that it was a suicide. You said so yourself. You said Nagito committed suicide. Th then who killed Nagito? Uh. You mean, who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Well, wait, hold on a second. Like, we all threw the grenades. I mean, who could it, who could the killer be? We accidentally threw the fire grenade with the poison inside. We didn't even know. So, how are you even supposed? You gotta be kidding me. Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Uh person who prepared the poisoned fire grenade was... Well, it was Nagito. I see. It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poisoned grenade? Well... It was Nagito. I see. That was also Nagito. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? Why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? The reason Nagito set the warehouse on fire... To commit suicide? To destroy the evidence? To get our attention? To make someone throw the poison. I see. Don't tell me. He he set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades. He set the fire just so we'd put it out. Why did he do that? Just so that we would throw the fire grenades, trying to put out the fire. When in actuality, one of us through the poison gas so that he would get killed it was a trap a trap uh preparing the poison creating a reason for us to throw the poison it was all a setup by nagito it was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade i i cannot believe this I cannot believe what I'm hearing over here. That is... Wow! Wow! I am... I'm just so surprised over here. S seriously 
I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Oh my fucking god! Well, how are we even supposed to find out who did it? Huh? Could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? You gotta be kidding me. So that's where he wanted us to get to. That we would find this out and... We wouldn't even know who threw the poison because we didn't even know what fire grenade had the poison in it. This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. And for that reason... He put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. No. That is... That is impossible. There's no way... No. It cannot be that this is an impossible murder. It cannot be that this is impossible to solve. A murder nobody can solve. That is just bullshit! What? What the hell? Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. And then... And then the spear fell. Hold, hold, hold on! If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death. It might be the poison's fault they let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That is true. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! Oh my fucking gods. No, that is impossible. There's no way! Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. Even the wounds all over his body. It was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. No! There's... There... There's... There's no way. We... No, There. there's gotta be like... Something that we can figure out here. Like, there's no there, there's no way that we're not gonna be able to figure out who is the one who is the one who threw the poison, like the fire grenade. Otherwise, no. There's there's no such thing as a murder mystery that cannot be solved. There's no such thing as an impossible murder mystery to solve. Like I said many times. You no. I mean, there's gotta be a way. <laughs> he wanted to prove to us there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. You gotta be kidding me. No! He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. Uh. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. Well, yes! Even this mystery should be solved. Prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces. For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way! <laughs> I... There's 
no way there are unsolvable mysteries. Every mystery has to be solved. Is this really the absolute truth that I'm gonna have to face? That there are unsolvable mysteries? No! <laughs> My god! <laughs>